What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here with another video. Um, in this one I'm going to show you how you can handle items that can proc extra when you craft them using Trade Skill Master, which is going to be something that you'll run into every once in a while. Um, depends on the market, it's usually been a thing in alchemy with uh, specializations. So um, let's take a look. We're, we're going to go and check out my, um, my rogue on TVC actually, because he's an alchemist. Of course, he's level 60, so he doesn't actually have any specializations, but we're going to pretend that he has potion specialization. I'll show you how to handle that in your operations. Uh, now, alchemy specializations in TBC give you about 20% extra on average. That's going to be... Um, so that's what we'll be, be focusing on. We'll be using the 1.2 uh, as sort of the base cost. So right now, it's showing me that this destruction potion uh, is not profitable. But uh, you can fix the profit here, the profit that's shown here. You can make that include the expected number of procs, and you can also include that in your crafting cost. Um, so the first thing we got to do is uh, I'm just going to craft one destruction potion. I need to have one in my bags. Um, I have no idea. We're going to go to a completely fresh profile. Um, that should be... Actually, we're going to make a new profile. Test. Good stuff. We're going to make a new group. We're going to call it potions. And we're going to add the destruction potion to that. So to get the correct pricing here, or the expected value here, we have to make a new crafting operation. Uh, so we'll make a new one. We'll call it potion perks. And you can set this up. Maybe you want a minimum profit. Uh, min profit, okay, let's say 10%. 10% crafting. This doesn't actually matter. And then you can set this to how many you want to craft. Probably I want to craft 70 uh, of each. But the important part here is this one. Override default craft value. Because this is the default value TSM uses to value how much the item you're crafting uh, is. And that's what they're using here. This, this number right here is the default craft value, which is generally going to be the minimum buyout. So 4 gold and 71 silver. Um, and then it's going to subtract the crafting cost from that. And the TSM crafting cost is 5 gold and 59 silver. Uh, I don't know if that's my actual crafting cost or not. Uh, but the important part is here is that when you're crafting with the potion specialization, on average, you'll get 20% extra. So every time you craft, you'll get on average 1.2. So you need to multiply this by 1.2. Uh, and that's it. And if we now close and reopen our uh, alchemy window... Boom! Suddenly this one is showing a 7 silver profit. Of course, this is still not much, but uh, as any of you who have been following me for a while will be, a, will be aware of, you can utilize. Um, you can utilize overcutting to get a lot of sales in alchemy, even without being the cheapest. Uh, so the next thing is we need to take... Um, take note of this when we're posting on the auction house, because usually I use the... Uh, the crafting operation that I shared in my video, the only two TSM operations you'll ever really need. I use the, the basic crafting pricing from that. Uh, but that's not going to work now, because my crafting cost isn't actually the TSM calculated crafting cost. It's a, it's less than that. So we'll make a new operation here for, um, for potions. And obviously, generally speaking, I'd have... Um, I'd have 120% crafting here as my minimum price, right? That's my, my go-to. For crafted items and then i usually set it to something like this five times two times crafting cost uh, obviously for for alchemy potions we need to post at minimum uh, but this is going to overvalue because our i'm actually getting 1.2 flasks every time i do a craft so what does that mean that means my actual crafting cost is my the crafting cost, the base crafting cost that TSM calculates, divided by 1.2. So what we can do is we can just divide this by 1.2. Uh, and we'll be guaranteed a 20% profit margin. Of course, it doesn't matter as much on the min, on the normal and max prices. So you can debate whether you care about doing it there or not. Um, if you want to be like really, really rigid, you'd also... Um, include the um, the cost of the the deposit or the not the deposit the the sales fee on the auction house. I never include that in my operations. I don't bother. 
Um, it's functionally the same as just setting this to a slightly higher uh, profit, minimum profit. You can just set it to 122 and it's pretty much the same. Um, so that's it. So this will now value my, um, if I'm a potion specialist, this will now value my potions correctly. Um, so we can add the, we'll add the operation here as well, potions. And then hopefully I have it set to show auctioning operations in the tooltip. If not, we have to add that. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 we don't care about that. We care about min normal max price. Good. So now we can see here that my minimum price is now 5 gold 59 silver. Um, instead of being 5 gold 59 silver times 1.2, which is what it would have been before. Um, uh, you can see that on the, um, on the bottom and second to last uh, row on the tooltip. Um, so that's how you do it. And using this, this is obviously very important in markets that are very competitive, like alchemy usually is. Um, so it's very important to have the correct crafting cost. You'll do the same thing. Uh, depending on your, on your specialization, you'll have to do this for whatever groups you have. For transmutes, if you're a transmute spec alchemist, uh, flasks and elixirs, if you're an elixir master, and obviously for, for potions, if you're a potion master. Um, it's the same in retail with the transmute mastery and stuff giving the same amount and then in the past we've had like with in, in legion and bfa we had ranked recipes and if you add the rank 3 recipe you're getting 50% uh, extra on average so you divided by 1.5 and multiplied by 1.5 respectively to get the same same stuff um, but that's how you do it it's pretty important because i think that uh, alchemy is going to be very 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 competitive in, on most realms um, even though in classic I could make money consistently by just posting for more than the current cheapest auctions and uh, just ignoring the the people undercutting into low 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 amounts of unprofitability, uh, so that's probably still viable as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how you take advantage of TSM to just outsource that. Now you don't have to think about procs at all. You just have to craft tons and tons of potions. So you get yeah, so you actually get your procs and then you can start raking in the gold. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Um, if it did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If there's something I didn't co cover well enough, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll get to that as well. And uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye guys.